So let's say we want to find the binomial expansion of this. 2 over 3 minus x times 1 minus 2x. In order to do that, I'm going to have to use partial fractions to rewrite this in the format of a over 3 minus x plus b over 1 minus 2x. So I'm going to have to find what a and b are first. So the first thing to do is to multiply both sides by the 3 minus x, 1 minus 2x. And I'm going to get a lots, oh sorry, that's right, 2, sorry, is equal to a lots of 1 minus 2x plus b lots of 3 minus x. So now I'm going to choose values of x to eliminate brackets to get my a and b by itself. I'm going to choose x equals 3 to get rid of that bracket, so let x equals 3. So I'm going to get 2 is equal to a times 1 minus 2 lots of x, so 1 minus 2 lots of 3. Okay, so that's 1 take away 6, that's minus 5. Divide both sides by minus 5, so a is minus 2 fifths. And if I then let x equal, um, what would I need? Uh, a half? Uh, sorry, um, yeah, one half. So x equals one half. So I'm going to get 2 is equal to b lots of 3 take away a half. I'm just going to use a calculator on that. So divide both sides by the two minus, uh, 3 minus a half. So 2 divided by 2.5 gets me 4 fifths, so b is 4 fifths. So this means that this is equal to minus 2 fifths over 3 minus x plus 4 fifths over 1 minus 2x. So that's the partial fractions bit done. Now, it's not in a format that I particularly like working with here, so I'm going to write that as minus 2 fifths lots of 3 minus x to the minus 1, plus 4 fifths lots of 1 minus 2x to the minus 1. And now I need to expand both of these using the binomial expansion. The problem is this first one, 3 minus x to the minus 1. It's not of the format 1 plus or 1 minus. So I'm going to have to do something to that first. So minus 2 fifths lots of, well, take a 3 outside, factorise what's inside the bracket. Uh, 1 minus 1 third x uh, to the power of minus 1 plus the 4 fifths, 1 minus 2x to the minus 1. So I'm going to get minus 2 fifths times by 3 to the minus 1 lots of 1 minus a third x to the minus 1 plus the 4 fifths 1 minus 2x to the minus 1. And then I can finally rewrite that as minus 2 fifteenths lots of 1 minus a third x to the minus 1 plus 4 fifths 1 minus 2x to the minus 1. Okay, so that's now what I want to expand. So let's rewrite it up here to give myself a little bit of space. So minus 2 fifteenths, 1 minus 1 third x to the minus 1, plus 4 fifths, 1 minus 2x to the minus 1. Okay. Now I'm ready to expand. So I've got minus 2 fifteenths lots. I'm just going to do it to the first three terms in this one uh, to save on space. So I'm going to have 1 plus n, which is minus 1, lots of x, which is minus a third x, plus minus 1 times minus 2 over 1 times 2, Lots of minus a third x to the uh, squared, sorry, plus other terms. Then I've got plus four fifths lots of one plus a minus one uh, times minus two x 
plus uh, minus 1 times minus 2 over 1 times 2, lots of minus 2x squared plus other terms. Okay, so I need to expand all this and simplify. So I'm going to leave the minus 2 fifteenths first. I'm going to simplify what's inside. So I'm going to get 1 plus a third x. Um, then I've got 1 times 2, so minus 1 times minus 2 over 1 times 2, that's just 1. Um, then I've got plus 1 ninth x squared plus other terms. Plus, now the second bracket, 4 fifths of 1 plus 2x. Then I've got, uh, that's just going to be 1 times minus 2x squared, so that's 4x squared. Uh, plus other terms. Expand the brackets. So we get minus 2 fifteenths. Um, what have we got there? Uh, minus 2 forty fifths x. Then I've got minus 2 divided by 15 times a ninth. So minus 2 over 135 x squared plus other stuff. Then I expand this bracket, so I get 4 fifths uh, plus 8 fifths x plus 16 fifths x squared plus other stuff. Group everything together, so I get minus 2 fifteenths plus the 4 fifths is 2 thirds. I've got the minus 2 45 fifths x plus the 8 fifths x, so minus 2 over 45 plus the 8 fifths is 14 ninths. Then I've got this minus 2 over 135 plus the 16 over 5 is 86 over 27 x squared plus other terms. Okay, and that is the expansion I'm looking for, the first three terms. It's a long-winded process. Now, the other thing that I might like to do is also write down, well, what values uh, of x is this actually valid for? Because it's governed by two binomial expansions, one here and one here. Now, beforehand, when I did the video on range of validity, uh, we should know how to find range of validity for each of these individually. So, I will place the x in the modulus with minus a third x. So that means that mod x must be less than 3, dividing both sides by the minus a third. And here, we've got mod x being replaced with minus 2x. So that means dividing both sides by minus 2, we're going to get mod x is less than a half. So on your number line, what you're saying is that we're happy with this one between any values between minus 3 and 3. Okay, any value there, that's fine. But this one constricts it even further to being between minus a half and one half. And what you need is for both of them to be happy. Okay, and the only way both are going to be happy is if we have just that minus a half to a half. Because anywhere outside of that, this one won't work any longer. Okay, this one might do, but that one won't. So we've got to pick x, mod x is less than a half to be the range of validity for this whole expansion.